you guys doing here? Welcome to Gianna's Kitchen. Tonight, excuse me, we are going to be making steak roulade. And I hope you're excited because you know Gianna is. And we are gonna do this super easy. And we're gonna start off with a nice bottle of Yes Way Rosé. Compliments of Anthony Hughes. Don't know if you know him, but he is a darling. A little country boy that we all just want to eat up. And Jenna is going to do what she does best, and she's going to drink up. Ugh. So stay tuned. Look for the recipe down below, and um, we'll see you back in a few minutes. Oh, hi. Welcome to Gianna's Kitchen. Didn't see you there. Uh, tonight, it is one of Gianna's first shows in June. And I don't know if you know, but June is Pride Month. So whatever you subscribe to, Gianna's here for it. You do you. As long as you don't hurt anyone else, we about it. And then also, Gianna just wants to say a big, big, big thank you to all of her supporters. Um, Cody Reed made all of Gianna's new artwork that you'll be seeing coming soon. Also, Brandon, who hooked me up with Cody, thank you so much. Brandon is one of Gianna's number one fans. One of uh, Gianna's other number one fans is Anthony Hughes, who supported today's rosé. Oh, with that being said, look forward to Jana's merchandise. It has everything. Shirts, tank tops, yoga pants, phone cases, whatever. She has something for you. So don't forget to check it out. Now that being said, let's get the show started. Preheat your oven to 375, and then let's move over to the other side of the kitchen so we can start sauteing. Oh, hi. There you are. Lost you for a minute. Okay, so let's get the show started. We said we're gonna saute the spinach and the garlic, so let's start it. If you heard that ringing, that means our oven is preheated, so move a little quicker than Gianna is. Uh, first, we're gonna add in a little olive oil. Don't need much. What we need to do is just saute the spinach and garlic a little bit, so that way um, some of the flavor is like ready to go into the meat when we put it in the oven. So I'm gonna throw our spinach in. I'm gonna put a little bit more than what the recipe asked for. Once again, recipes are just guidelines. Um, I like to tweak them and you find that a lot of times recipes just don't have enough flavor in them. And the more you eat them, you realize, oh yeah, I could use a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this, you know? Okay, I'm just gonna dice up her garlic real quick. Gianna's mother would not be proud of her. She lost her garlic press. Who does that? We all know every good recipe has garlic in it. Okay, let's get this going. How's everyone doing out there? I know the past couple weeks have been really intense, um, but hopefully we're moving in a better direction than what we were before. I know it may look like a, it's gonna be a long journey, which journeys are good, as long as we get there. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Turn 
down just a bit because it is getting hot in her. I bet she just needs to cool off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am too much sometimes. Mm. Hope everyone's wearing their mask at home. Well, not while you're home, but just like while you're out and about for safety, precautions. Oh yeah. So as you can see, we're sauteing real nice. It usually takes like, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes. Depends on how high you have the meat. And then once you're done, you're just gonna turn it off, let it cool down a few minutes, and we're gonna go pound some meat. You know what I mean? Okay, now that we have everything, spinach, garlic sauteed, mm, garlic, let's get some more wine. Oof. Yes, my rosé is so good. Oh my god. Okay. Gotta keep that cool. It's so hot. It's 85 today. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I don't know if you like Jenna's new look. She has to have her hair in her face. It's just always like a mess. And Jenna is a mess, but doesn't mean she needs to look like one. Okay, so now let's prepare our meat. We have a nice, beautiful one and a half flank steak. And boy, is that gorgeous. What we want to do is pound it up. Yes, pound that gavel. Pound it. Oh, yes. Just a little bit, not too hard. Yes, pound that meat. Just pound it. Mm. Okay, now we want to take our salt and pepper. Jana's not gonna measure hers out. She's just gonna pour it in there. You at home, if you wanna, you know, measure yours out, that is your prerogative, that is your right. But here, Jana's, ooh. Okay. okay, now you are gonna rub it in. So you don't have to worry too much about how much you put in there. Um, just be cautious of the people that you're cooking for. They might want less. I know my mark, my people, which is me, Jenna. And I just love seasoning. I love flavor. Cause you know what? It's not burnt, it's flavor. Okay. I got that in there. Um, I don't know if the recipe asks for both sides, but Jana's just gonna do it for fun. I'm not gonna do as much, just gonna, uh, whatever. Okay, here we go, nice and simple. And let's get our next thing ready. the moment we've all been waiting for. We're gonna start layering our steak roulade, getting it ready for the oven, and follow me down. Mm. There we go. We already have all the seasoning that we want in there. What we have to do next is lay out the roasted red pepper, which there's no special kind of buy. It's just whatever you want. Jana loves roasted red peppers. Oh my god. Uh, actually, there's not much that Jana doesn't like. One thing that she doesn't like, I don't know if you know this, fun fact, Jana does not like seafood. She will do some seafood recipes, so don't worry about you guys at home. She'll take care of you. We know that everything's not about her. She is a sensible woman. 
And so we have the roasted pepper down. Then what we want to do is bring in our sauteed spinach and garlic. Layer it in here. Okay. There we go. Now, I personally think that there could have been more spinach. So I think next time I do this, I would actually add more spinach, more than what the recipe called for. Um, and then we're gonna add in our cheese. Ugh, oh, just love some cheese. That nice there. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is coming together great. Oh. What do you think? We need one more cheese? Yeah, I think so too. There we go. What do you think? That's great, doesn't it? Oh, hi. Welcome back to Gianna's Kitchen. Now it's time to get our meat ready for the oven. It is stuffed just the way we like it, and we're gonna roll it out. Okay, Ugh. one minute. We don't wanna get our hair in the oven, and our food, so let's put it up. You know, Gianna being a fashionable. Okay, come on closer. Let's do this. Grab that meat, get everything nice and packed in there. Oh yeah. Don't worry about any access because access is good. Okay. Grab your skewers. What you wanna do is make sure that you have this lip covered here. You wanna pin that down. It's very important. You're gonna do it all the way through. Um, I don't know if there's an amount that you need to put in, but just as long as it's secure, why it's baked, it's nice and tight. I know some of y'all loose at home, but Gianna, that girl is tight. And then when you're done, you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna put it right in here. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, it's ready for the oven. We're all rolled up, stuffed, and just ready to bake. Mm. Okay, and away we go. Jenna likes her meat to be medium rare, so I'm gonna bake for 15 minutes and then uh, we'll check back in so that we can flip it over for the next 15 minutes. So grab your wine, drink up, and clean your kitchen. Clean it up. Hi. Well, welcome to Gianna's Corner. And this is where Gianna's gonna give you her tip of the day. And just the tip, if you remember. Okay. So, um, Janice tip of the day is, say you're in a rush and you need to chill your bottle of wine. What you need to do is um, wrap it in wet paper towel and put it in the freezer for five to 10 minutes. And you'll see, trust it works, that you'll have a chilled bottle within five to 10 minutes. So cheers to that. I dare you to try it. So how are you guys doing at home? Are you following along? Is the recipe too hard? Please comment, let me know what's going on. Um, I know I'm enjoying this Yes Way Rosé. John, I can never have enough wine. And don't forget, Jenna has merch. Check out her link. Um, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Oh, 
Okay, it's ready to be switched over. So let's grab it. Oh yeah, that's cooking nicely. Okay, now we're gonna flip the meat so the other side can cook. And it's going to be a challenge. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Um, actually, just kidding. <laughs> this was way easier than I thought. Good job. Now let's put it back in the oven for 15 minutes. And away well, we go. Oh, hey, it's time to get our food out of the oven. Are you ready? Let's get it. Oop. Don't forget your oven mats. Take this out, lay it out, get it ready for our presentation. See you in a second. One little detail that I forgot is that before I can pr prepare for the presentation, I need to finish my wine, let it cool a little bit, and then you will see the deliciousness that's just waiting to be cut up and ready for our serving. So, Hope you're ready, cause I am. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, medium, rare, a little more on the rare side, but exactly what Gianna wanted, because she is a hungry girl. That's all you need. Look at us. Now, we finished the Yes Way Rosé. We're gonna finish your night with some Josh. And Okay, so don't judge me. And thank you so much for participating tonight. I hope you followed along, you enjoyed the recipe. I am gonna dive in this delicious steak relayed, relayed, excuse me. And I'm gonna drink a little bit more wine. And if you really liked tonight, if you like Gianna, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Love you so much. Have a good night.